Hello guys, welcome to my channel Adamant Algorithm. This is Rain. In this video, we are going to see how to create a character selection screen for your game. As usual, we are going to keep the logic as simple as possible, so it will be easy for the beginners to follow up. Now, at the end of this video, what you will learn, I'm going to demonstrate now. So let me just play this game. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have a character selected now. Uh, you have three uh, choices to select your player. The sword knight and clicking on the spear knight will actually change the sprite and this is going to be your final character you are going to play the game with or the heavy knight. So clicking this UI button will actually load that specific character. Once you finalize it, you just click play so your menu will disappear and you will start playing and give the control to the actual human player so the game will continue. So this is going to be the ultimate goal of this video. So let's see how to go about um, creating this. And before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear up the project so I can able to show everything from scratch. Okay, now the scene is um, nice and clean. So let's see what I do have in my scene. First of all, uh, there is an empty scene. Okay, uh, I do actually have just the background on the main camera as you can see and nothing fancy about it. So uh, the thing is if you want to hide the background it's okay. So a couple of sprites in it and if you come back here the most important step that you need to understand is I do have three character screen uh, sorry three sprite sheets for each character which is heavy knight as you can see they are individual PNG pictures sword and spear. I have used these um, sprites in order to create animations for my three characters okay uh, well at this point this video assumes that you guys know how to create sprite uh, animations from individual sprite sheets if you don't I would strongly recommend you guys to take a look at my tutorial on how to create animations out of sprite sheets uh, there will be an information icon on the top right of your screen right now if you click that it will take you straight to that tutorial which I'm talking about now so you guys know when you create animations out of individual sprite sheets you will get two files as a result for each animation which is there will be an animation file that has the extension dot anim and there will be a controller for that animation file well this itself has the loop timings all these kind of information and the associated uh, controller file will actually control uh, how the animation file should be displayed on the um, rendering um, whatever and the thing is it has an internal um, concept of how to play an animation file so the let me tell you the logic for this particular exercise what we're going to do is we are actually going to swap whenever we click the buttons we are actually going to swap the associated controllers uh, to the rendering engine or to the layer whatever you want to call so the sprite will be changed accordingly now if you don't understand this point it's completely okay we will actually see one by one first of all to control everything we need a empty object so i'm gonna say character choice whatever name i want so in this game object let's build the game object in the way that we want first of all we need to show the sprite so we need a sprite renderer and also the main logic of this concept is we need an animation animator controller so it's animator okay and as you can see every animator needs a runtime animator controller so this is actually what we are going to swap during the runtime okay using script and uh, the third one is we need a script obviously to get on with it so i'm gonna call it um player swap create an ad so let it wait until it finished creating the c sharp file is it done now yep open it up okay so i'm gonna just delete all the unwanted stuff from here what we're gonna do is first of all we need a public um Oh, sorry we don't need public for animator so it's just private is okay private animator we call it my animator and whenever you actually 
uh, declare a component make sure you guys straight go to the start and get it get the access right so I'm gonna say my animator is equal to get component animator so now this is ready for us and the third one is since we are going to use UI we are actually going to use UI buttons and UI buttons request um, methods so that we can able to um, load methods when you actually on the event of click so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually say public void uh, load sword oops, sword character and so what we're gonna do is we need to load uh, the animator runtime controller okay so for that actually we need public game object sorry public um, animator controller we call it my sorry sword character okay and we have three characters totally so we're gonna do the same in here as well so I'm gonna quickly do that ones for sword ones for spear and the other one is for heavy right so now we have three public animator controller so in this function is for clicking the button of sword character so what I'm gonna do is if that button is clicked I mean in inside this method I'm calling for my animator at runtime animator controller is going to be that sword character Okay, so what I'm essentially doing is when someone clicks the button that says load SWAT character, I'm changing my runtime animator controller from whatever it has to the SWAT character which we have. So exactly the same logic is going to be repeated two times. Okay, so copy this and paste it two times and just change whatever name you want to give here and that second button will be dedicated for loading spear character and the third button will be dedicated for uh, creating the heavy character. So I'm going to do it very quick. Okay, so now this is done. What we need to do the last but not the least is there are fourth button, right? We will come back to that. Before that, we will actually make this works. Uh, we'll go back here and we will see now if you take a look as you can see you have there are three animation controllers waiting for us what we're gonna do is we go to the animation controller we already got when we were uh, making animations out of your sprite this is not manually made this was automatically made when you actually um, created the animation you would know when you if you know how to create an animation and okay sword characters animation controller is this one uh, spear controller and uh, animator controller is this one and heavy is this one so what we're gonna do is we are actually when someone click load uh, sword button when someone click this we are actually going to take this animation controller and load it right there Okay, which in return will essentially load our sprite. Okay, so that's the logic. If someone clicks the button number two, the spear will be loaded here and essentially it will actually load the corresponding animation right there. Okay, and that's the logic. Now what we're gonna do is last but not the least, we need to create our canvas very quick. So I'm gonna create the canvas and the canvas I need actually buttons. So I'm gonna create a button. So in this button, I'm actually gonna change the name of the button to um, Spear Knight, correct? Oops, Sword Knight, whatever. We can swap it later, but it's okay. And in the button, we are actually going to list on click event. So I'm gonna drag and drop my character choice where I have the script attached to. Please don't make any mistake. You need to drag and drop an object that has the sprit, uh, sorry, uh, the script attached. Now go back to the button and 
if you see here um, oops hang on a second is it public public void yeah everything is fine and just change it the canvas the button character choices and player swap sorry I forgot my C shop <laughs> I just given as the names player swap and here you can see the three uh, things that we have loaded uh, from the method so this first button is going to be dedicated for our SWAD character so I'm gonna choose player swap load SWAT uh, sorry load SWAT character okay so what next is just duplicate this guy and in here change the text to spear so I'm gonna do this pretty quick now because it's the same thing okay so what we're gonna do is we are actually going to move these guys together shift alt hold them move it over here and now move it individually as per your choice sword knight should be here and this guy can be here and this guy can be here we need one more button control D and for that is going to be play or you can say close menu okay now move that to where wherever you want now I'm gonna just move all the buttons together so that it actually comes and occupies the screen here so now what happens is um, we just need to check whether everything works we go to the clear choice and there is no sprite at the moment so we cannot see where it is so let's go ahead and go for give us um, what you called a, a default sprite for the canvas sorry character choice I'm gonna give this okay and one more thing is the default layer because it gone behind the background so I'm gonna bring it to foreground so now the sorting layers was a problem now you can see your character right there so I'm gonna just move this guy somewhere here okay and oops did you see that I cannot see my character in the gameplay so let's check what's the problem oh yeah see the problem is Z is minus 10 which means it's very near to the camera so that's why you cannot so what I would do is make it zero Ooh, la, la. there we go okay so let's go ahead and check if everything works as intended uh, sword knight and spear knight oops there is a foreground background problem heavy knight close menu close menu oh sorry I forgot this button we did not add anything here so what I'm gonna do is the fourth button function method sorry it's going to be um, we call it um, disable menu and what would be the script is we need access to the canvas the easiest way is we go for public game object my canvas or my menu menu should be okay my menu whatever the name you want to give for the game object and here it says my menu um, dot set active false so this will essentially disable the uh, key uh, the menu okay finished compiling let's play oh uh, swat knight okay one more problem I notice is whenever I just press the play button so this character is still and it's not moving we will fix it it's just a small problem but let's check sword knight works okay spear knight works okay heavy knight works okay and close menu oh sorry see I'm always rushing button 3 supposed to be disable menu so all you have to do is just check the last close menu button 
uh players have as not in the variable my menu is not assigned oh come on man of course see my menu game object you need to tell unity which one you are hiding which one is your game object is your canvas is your game object okay all right so this should be okay close menu done so when you click close menu what happens next is totally upon uh, based upon uh, your own game logic whether you are going to give control to the player so that player will start moving and the background will start moving or you are actually going to take them to a different scene or you are actually going to give uh, another choice like weapon choice or whatever it's impossible for me to uh, go forward in this because it's your logic and whatever you want to do you can able to do okay the last one thing which I was uh, saying that this character when we play uh, is not animating because the character choice see by default there is no runtime animator assigned only it is assigned from our script so what we could do is we give the default SWAT controller to load by itself when you play so what happens is so it's beautifully playing and you can keep going on for that oops there is a um, foreground I say middle ground is okay oh sorry it's, it's gone up to there <laughs> it's like the night is somewhat playing hide and seek or whatever okay anyway just uh, it's just a starting problem I really don't want to waste your time in fixing that uh, because I need to just go and see in the background which one is having which layer or whatsoever okay so as far as I oh yeah that is also I could try this it's in the foreground or in the middle ground I can change the level to five they should fix it which means I am ordering the layers um, yep essentially it fixed it see so that's it guys I think uh, this video would uh, would be useful for you guys if you are actually trying to create a character selection screen and uh, if you have come this far in this video I think you're actually already like uh, the content of this channel and also like the content of this video so please do support me by subscribing and liking the video and I would promise you guys I will bring a lot of free stuff in your name in, in your way and thank you so much for your time and I wish you all the best in everything you do I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye